Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's a beautiful day down here in sunny Southwest Florida. Uh, just uh, enjoying the weather. It's about 85 degrees, a uh, little overcast, so it's nice and cool. There's a little breeze. Uh, we're really loving this. Uh, we're still in lockdown, so we haven't left the house in a while. Uh, but you know what? It's kind of nice to be here, you know. Uh, today, I got an interesting video for you. Uh, I got two Gen 3 Mustangs uh, that were on the dyno down at Five Bar Motorsports. Uh, both of them are 10R80 cars, and uh, both of them are premium cars. Uh, they're both running on the 85, uh, full bolt-on cars. Uh, the white one, however, is running a um, stock intake manifold with a stock throttle body. And the orange Fury one is running a uh, Cobra Jet intake manifold with the twin 65 uh, Ford Racing throttle body. Uh, very interesting results. Uh, this is a good comparison to see uh, which, which one uh, made more power. Um, let me show you the white one. That one ran pretty good. Check this out. All right, everybody. While I have the chance, I want to take a good look at the car. Uh, this is basically a uh, 2018 Mustang. It is not a performance pack car, but uh, he's got full long tubes on it. Uh, cats have been removed. Uh, he's got a Steeda, um, you know, uh, intake here, uh, cold air. Uh, but uh, this is the closed air box one, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, the car's running on the 85. Uh, it's been tuned by Lund. And uh, it's an 85 Lund race tune. Um, this is a really nice car. Guy keeps it really good. And it is a 10R80 car. Uh, I can't get inside. Can't really show you that, but uh, she's got the 10R80 in it. She's looking really good. Uh, blacked out. Um, you know, it's got the, the black roof. It's got a really cool looking spoiler on the back of this thing. Look at this. And that's really something to look at, right? And uh, this car looks like it's got the blackout package with the black rims. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. The, uh, the heat extractors on the hood are black also. So uh, let's get this car inside. Let's get it on the dyno and see what she can do. How's it going, Joe? Not too bad. What's happening, man? everybody this is a uh, 2018 uh, NA car uh, full exhaust long tube headers and uh, E85 um, it's got a Cita uh, intake on it closed air box and uh, it's been tuned by Lund pound-feet of torque. Now, this is a Mustang Dyno. You got to add 12% to that uh, to, um, you know, uh, to have these numbers equivalent to what you would see on the Dyno Jet. But uh, that's not bad.
fully did 451 on the must by 466 a little bit better that's close to 500 horsepower really on a dyno jet look like pretty good numbers to me All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, that full bolt-on Gen 3 Mustang with the 10R80 made pretty good power with that E85 and, the, you know, the uh, long tubes and, and all the equipment that he had on the car. Uh, 460 horsepower on a Mustang Dyno is nothing to sneeze at. And, um, you know, Dyno Jet estimations roughly on a car like that would be about 510 horsepower, give or take. Uh, we found that those estimations are pretty accurate because we take the cars to the track and we see how they run. But uh, like I say, uh, 460 horsepower on a Mustang Dyno is pretty good. So now uh, I got an Orange Fury version uh, that I'm going to show you. It's a Gen 3, very much like the white one. Only difference being it's got a Cobra Jet intake manifold and a twin 65 millimeter uh, Ford Racing throttle body on it. And I should mention also, guys, uh, this is um, these both of these cars have been tuned by Lund. So same dyno, same tuner, similar bolt-ons. Only difference being the Cobra Jet and uh, and the throttle body. So let's watch this one roll on a dyno, guys. This one made some pretty good power. All right, let's take a look at this Orange Fury Mustang GT. Okay, she's beautiful. You can see she's got the black roof. And uh, like I say, she's got performance pack wheels on it, uh, but it's not a performance pack. It looks like this guy landed the wheels. He's got the standard brakes, but it does make the car look kind of nice, right? Looks like a performance pack. It's got the windows tinted. It's looking good. You come around the back. Look at that, he's got a painted black spoiler. That looks awesome. You know, these cars are nice, no matter how you look at it. Oh, I'm going to guess that this car probably came originally with the blackout package. See, that's all blacked out right there. All right, it's looking good. Come around the side here. There's the 5 emblems. They're blacked out also. Nice looking car, guys. Don't know what's under the hood, but we'll get her on the dyno. We'll find out. All right, guys, what we're looking at here is a full bolt-on car. Uh, what you see there is a Cobra Jet intake manifold. We got a big monoblade throttle body, Steeda closed airbox intake manifold. Uh, we've got long tube headers, performance exhaust. Uh, we got Adam here strapping the car down, so I don't want to get in, in his way. Uh, but this is a beautiful uh, Orange Fury Mustang GT. Now let's take a look inside. Uh, this looks like a premium car, 10R80 401A car. These are nice, man. You can't go wrong with a car like this. And like I say, uh, I don't know if he's on the 85. We're going to find out, but uh, this car should put down some impressive numbers. All right, guys, we're going to watch this one roll. Uh, this car also is on the 85, and that's a twin 65 millimeter throttle body uh, that's, in, that's in front of that uh, Cobra Jet intake manifold. Full bolt-on car. This thing should make some power. This should be very interesting. I mean, really, you could figure this is at least 
520 horse to the rear wheels if it was a dyno jet. Pretty good numbers. We're going to do another call. Did a little bit better, basically equal to the first pull. Uh, on a dyno jet, guys, this would be roughly 520 or something like that. I don't know, 520, 525. She makes good power, and that's an awesome ride right there. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, the car with the Cobra jet intake manifold made more power. Uh, 475 horsepower to the rear wheels. That's good power for an NA car. And uh, if it was on a dyno jet, I don't know, that would equate to something like 535 horsepower. I would say overall, the stock intake manifold versus the Cobra jet, the Cobra jet made maybe 20 to 25 more horsepower. And uh, personally, I think that's pretty good because if you're NA and you're looking for every edge that you can get, that's one way to get it. So anyway, guys, uh, not a hell of a lot going on right now. You know, we're still in the pandemic, but uh, hopefully we can get out to the track with my car at some point. So uh, anyway, stay tuned to the channel. I got more to come. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.